console dot log json dot stringify error see we can now it is calling now I wanted to get debug here Grenadius Public component variable I have while function error I have e is assigning and I got a debugger in this place so I need a okay I need a breaker here I need a breaker this is where I wanted to keep a break breakpoints yes I have a breakpoint let it get deployed Okay, refresh. I add my breakpoints, not a debugger now. It goes and it break there. Error undefined now. Process function error undefined. Let's see. Next step. Here undefined data undefined error undefined why error is undefined console okay error in error what is we have we have a status and we also have a body inside body we have a message right inside body we have a message so the data goes here dot body dot message me ssag error i am here so i got this data in this i need to read date body in body i need to read my message so let me check it out this way console dot log plus error is not defined okay i'm here only right still error or error how to read this one so my variable is error and then error I have like <laughs> what's the value I have error so my variable contain error in error I need error message if I say error I can get it as like status error is a top variable if I say status body and message so I need to go to body inside body I need to get my message so same thing I'm doing here is deploy it is this navigation right or you guys have any suggestion for me error body and message this is my top value it's okay 
now i can say body and message so i need to use my top value error dot body dot message let's see how that goes Okay, refresh. Console clear. Source. So I'm hit here. So it means that I have variable called error. Let me do one thing. Console dot log. JSON dot stringify error just to check I have my error variable or not error or error or error or Something is not good. I have error message, but why it is not so far? Now I'm just doing this. Let me figure it out. Like how I'm reading my error messages. So, in errors, ultimately, what we are getting here, we are deploy. So we are getting error and then we are having like a body and inside body array, body object, we have like a message and header objects. So when I'm trying to access my body, then I need to use a keyword specification, error dot error. So let's refresh and check like what is actually doing this. Play, play, play. What is saying error, error or error and then I am getting any idea what I can do here. I need to get a message from here ultimately.
sorry what we are doing is but actually i need to get only message i don't want to get everything else here like i have error so from that error i wanted to read my okay let's talk about this as a json object uh, json parser if i say json parser okay This is my property. Deploy. I think I missed this. This need to be as like a object only the parameters. Okay. So this we'll see. Just check it out. So this is in the format of error. So I need error dot error, and then if I want to go object error dot error dot body, then I need to read a message called dot message, right? Error dot body dot message. Then this is the depth, isn't it? Error dot body dot message. Uh, but why my depth is not working in this case? <clears throat> play, play. Perfect. I think I have reached now. So, what is my error depth? Error dot body dot this is an array no this is just an object body dot message i think i have reached my depth deploy this to source arc salesforce cli refresh at least we are out from one thing called error so this time it will read before it was reading as a string now it will read as an object okay let's check it out the difference between here and here is only one thing right here we'll assign it to n variable and then you will handle data and uh, error from here without worrying but here what you will be doing you will be doing explicit calls for both within the controller only that's the only difference between wire property and wire function. Right? So refresh it. Let's close this. Yep, we got it. Invalid desert parag, that was my expectation. So I missed in saying that here you need to pass is an object. Then only the return will be in the format of object, else it will be like a string data string clear i missed this parameters before so the other thing now we'll see what is imperative calling calling method imperatively what is imperative calling here i'll define my data is called uh, user data and user error 
Now, if I say user data or user error, it's very simple. If we are doing like imperative calling, if you are doing like imperative calling, the only thing here you can do method imperatively, let's say handle user. This handle user action can be anything, okay? It's not something you need to mention only these names. You can define like again, this is a custom name, guys. And this is your custom name. What you can mention whatever variable you need it. Okay. Here also. It's not always you need to mention the same thing always. I mean it's same. You can mention whatever function you wanted based on your usageability. What is meant by usageability? So why you are calling if you are deleting a record based on where you can see right delete records or delete account records, delete contact, delete partner. So whatever mention the proper naming conventions I mean to say, okay. I define my handle button in this we can also define event if you need it it's okay and now here what we need to do we need to get your object we need to get your object get object api name the method name okay and then if you want to pass a parameters how to pass a parameters here yesterday we discussed the same concept guys right uh, what is the parameter that I am using here? Object label equal yes, object label colon, and I am calling this as imperative. And then what we'll be having? And then dot then yesterday we discussed we forgot yeah, and then dot catch. And in then what will be having your result map to a function attribute. Here, what is the function that you had? User data, right? This dot user data equal to result. Or uh, when it comes to this place, then I don't know like have you remembered that we saw this yesterday exactly and then here we'll say this dot error equal to why we saw this message yesterday the same structure to create an account right create an account we use the same structure create record your parameters in the JSON format right JSON object and then you call your then parameter and then you can call the same thing you are doing here it's not something new it's same but there we are passing creating a record here you are calling your apex method and how we'll be doing that? How to call our now opix method? Define truly, and I'll say my output. I can say here user data, and I'm removing this error because I'm not keeping error for this. I'll say lightning colon sorry button label equal to call apex on click on click equal to open bracket closer bracket and handle user handle user So this is called imperative call. These are the three different ways that you can call your Apex method. Whatever you are doing here, what is this called? The parameter. So if you have a confusion here, what you can say? Let params equal to. And you can pass that params for a readability if you wanted to do the so. Deploy.
taking lots of time. But uh, wire property and wire function are loading by default. But imperative call will not load by default as soon as we do a callback. Okay. Once we do a call, then only it will load. Else it will not call. Clear? What is the default function load? What is as soon as we load a component, uh, if I want to execute some server action, what is that uh, handler I need to implement in our components? Onload handlers. What is that onload handler? In our components, if I, as soon as component loads, I need to call my Apex class, or I need to execute some custom logic. What is that one method that I need to implement in our? You remember our handler action name equal to doing it. Do in it. Okay, it's a init method. So if you load your component for the first time, when the component is loading, if you want to do some default actions, let's say if you want to display the component is to show the list of accounts. Okay. So as soon as component load, you need to do a server call, right? Those server call will go inside init calls. Okay. Aura handler init. Aura handler init. I'm opening developer.salesforce.com. What they are saying, the signature is very easy. Like action, you will be saying this one. Inside do in it or whatever your Apex JS controller. So here you will write your custom logic, what you want it to render out. Clear? This is the default load as soon as this component event lander, it is in it predefined event to be very component. So as soon as the component is getting loaded in the system or like it's been opened, these actions will execute automatically. After that only the component will be shown up. If this is not executed, then the component will not show. Okay. So now let me go back to this. Now this is not executed. If I click, then only it's loaded, right? But let's imagine that how can I do a callback? How can I do a callback like in it? See, in here we know that what is like default loader as soon as component. Load. Let's imagine if there is a situation that you wanted to execute some of your methods as soon as component, then how can you do that? So for that, we have another method called connected callback. There is a concept for us called connected callback. Connected callback. In this connected callback, you can call whatever method you wanted. Okay. You can say this dot your connected callback. Yes. Now this will execute by default. I can also keep alert statement, alert. Connected, callback, calling from call apex component. Before the component loads, this will execute first. Refresh. You can see, right? Isn't it? Before component, this is good. And then it will call your server action and you can do a pre-setup of your component data. 